So on this DIY for these following busts, I didn't give any measurements for the boxes for any of the materials that I used because I don't know what size that the person who sells these makes them. So you're going to have to build your box based on after you get the vacuum forms. And I also didn't tell you how to wire it because I didn't want to be held liable for some sort of fire or other crazy thing to happen. All right, folks. So here is one of my following busts. I'm going to take it apart. I'm going to rebuild it and I'm going to make more of a DIY than what I have before. So uh, let's get this going. All right. So that's the frame that I just put together. And then I put the plywood that forms the box on the frame. So just so you know, the uh, the vacuum form fits inside this box against this. So we're gonna I'm gonna put a frame around the outside edge. It has to be around the outside edge because if it's not around the outside edge, then you won't be able to get your vacuum form in there. So don't make a mistake and build a frame on the inside because the vacuum form has to be able to slide in. Vacuum form here has to be able to slide into this box. Okay, that's what holds it in. And once it slides up against that frame, then you will put in, uh, I use just strips of wood on either side to hold the vacuum form in place. So right now I'm gonna build a frame that goes on the outside edge of the back of the box, the outside edge. All right, so we got the outside frame on the back. And then I added this little piece here along the bottom so that it sits, you know, flat. And now I'm going to add the face, the cover, the cover piece that'll have the trim and everything on it to the front. All right, I don't know where I left off. So the outer frame is on and I created a face board to go, well, of course, on the front, out of some birch, three quarter inch birch plywood I had laying around. So next is to add some decorative trim and to dress it up, and then mount the electronics and the, the uh, vacuum form into it. All right, I got the, uh, face board on and I threw on some trim that I had laying around I will have to get some uh well I think I got some wood putty or I can mix up some wood putty and fill in those holes I don't know if I'm gonna stain it or paint it or what but that's up to you on how you build yours so now I need to mount the light and then I'm gonna mount an on and off switch which I didn't have before which should make it a lot easier and that'll be it all right, folks, so here is the vacuum form, and I just use a couple of strips of material. I don't have any particular, it just has to fit in there, and that holds the uh, vacuum form in place in the box. The vacuum form is against the outer frame that we started out in the very beginning, and then these two pieces of wood press against that frame and hold it in here. Uh, the light bulb is mounted, and I've got it wired to a switch this time, which I didn't have before, so now I can just turn the light off on and off instead of just unplugging the entire thing. And then I've got to cut out a panel that will screw to the back. And that's it. That's the construction. So really just the finishing is how you'd like to trim it, stain it, paint it. I don't even know. But there's the uh, bust inside the box. All right, folks, here is the semi-finished. I still have to stain it, but you can see the bust is mounted. And I've got the back plate on and the switch, which turns it on, which I didn't have last time. So now it's lit up. Before I had to just unplug the whole thing. The switch makes it nice. So there you go. 
how to mount your vacuum vacuum form. Well, one method to mount your vacuum form. Haunted Mansion bust from Block Mortuary.